Hey, I'm Lauren, owner of Imagined Awakenings, and I'm ready to get creative with resin. So always remember safety first, use your safety gear, and work in a well-ventilated area when working with epoxy resin. So today, I'm working with some brand new molds, well new to me, um, and everything is going to be with alcohol inks, because those are fun. Um, so as you can see here, I am measuring out my resin. So it is two part epoxy resin, part A and B. One part is the hardener, one part is the resin. And I actually pour in part B first, <laughs> which is the hardener. Um, and that's because it's more fluid and the resin, that's part A, is uh, thicker. And so that was actually um, a suggestion that they gave me on the website uh, of the company that I buy my resin from is counterculture DIY if you're interested um, so <clears throat> I pour in my parts um, one to one ratio and I use little lines on the side of the cup that you can't see but I assure you they're there <laughs> um, and I pour half the amount I tend to use in the hardener and then the other half in the resin and then I stir like mad not quite like mad it just kind of looks like that because I sped this up like times four um, but I actually I stir it a little slower um, because ideally it kind of helps prevent bubbles um, and with this this time I didn't do it but usually um, I put my bottles in the sink with warmish water um, just to kind of uh, at least loosen up the resin uh, resin <laughs> um, just to loosen <coughs> excuse me sorry to loosen up both parts so that um, they pour in more easily and they combine with less um, stirring. Like it, it just will take less effort and create less bubbles. Okay, that was long winded, sorry. Anyhow, so when stirring, when mixing resin, you wanna make sure you scrape the bottom of the container and the sides along with just your regular mad stirring. Um, and that's just to make sure that it is fully incorporated. Aren't you glad I saved this for this video today? Oh, so much fun. So anyway, you know that it's finished when it is completely clear and a homogeneous mixture, as in you cannot tell the two parts from each other anymore. So on the left side over there, I'm actually pouring resin into my soap molds. Okay, it's not a soap mold. It's a <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <clears throat> um they are okay now that I got my mind together soap dish molds that's what it is it's a soap dish <laughs> it's a mold that I use to make soap dishes um, but I don't actually sell them on imagine awakenings I sell them as an add-on on soap witch crafts when people buy soap so but it's part of this video because I do it all at the same time mm-hmm so I use a pretty large cup and then I like to do several projects at a time because that's just the kind of person I am. <laughs> um, so these molds that I'm pulling up right now are, are small tray molds. Like they could be a trinket tray, even an ashtray, whatever you feel like using it for a tray. Um, and they were new to me. A good friend of mine who also makes resin products was like, here, you should buy these. She sent me the link. She sent me the link. And in my mind, I was saying, I was thinking she was saying, here, you should buy these. Cause like, you know, of course, why else would she send it to me? So I bought them, the last ones that they had. <laughs> Um, I thought they were super cool looking. So I'm going to, I put glitter in the resin after I poured the resin into the soap dish molds. Um, and these are rainbow soap dish molds. So I put in lots of colors, lots of colors, cause they're meant to be colorful. So um, in each of these, I am just going to use alcohol ink to color. Um, you know, just cause why not?
So in the feather, I did a little something different. It's still using alcohol inks. And I saw um, another YouTuber do this method, but um, they put the alcohol ink in and then put the white on top on a shallow layer of resin. And then they poured more resin on top to sort of push it down. And then they put more alcohol ink, um, whatever colors, and they poured more resin on top to sort of push it down. Um, and I thought that gave a pretty cool effect and it also helps to push all the color down um, to the very bottom, or I guess technically top when you pull it out, but the bottom of the mold. Um, so all of it's colored. Cause sometimes when you have like a, a mold that kind of has a lot of depth to it, um, you pour your resin in and when you go to put you know your alcohol links and your color in the color doesn't necessarily always sink to the bottom so anyway um that's the method behind that madness and then over there i was i just had a little bit of extra resin and i didn't want to waste it so i pulled out my jewelry pendant molds the small ones and just put the resin in there yay So here I've just placed some alcohol ink in the molds, the new ones that my friend insisted that I buy. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that. Um, and then I put um, color and then I put metallics in there with it. I kind of overdo the metallics on purpose because for some reason it's harder um, for the white to push those down. So I, I try to go overboard with that so I could get something in the end results. It's, it's always kind of difficult. Um, so I went through and put all my colors and then the white on top and then my little dabs of color for the pendants and um, that's that. And now we're just gonna hit it with the heat gun to try to get out, you know, any bubbles, smooth everything out. You know, you know how we do. Um, so after I get that done, for whatever reason, I decided I wanted to swirl <laughs> the uh, the colors in the resin in the purple and in the blues. I think it's teal technically is what the bottle says. Um, I decided to swirl those to see if it gave those a different effect. So that's what you just saw there. So now it's time to demold. Yay. I was going to say it's my favorite part and, and maybe it is, but I certainly enjoy the making a lot. It's super fun to put it all together. So anywho, um, they weren't the hardest um, to demold, but you know, they, it was a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Um, and so that's the result of the teal one. I really like these trays. Definitely gonna be making some more of those. I was hard pressed not to keep some to myself. <laughs> Sometimes I might be known to do. Um, so after I fight to get my uh, pieces out of the molds, I like to fix them back so they don't just stay all twisty and crazy looking. Um, so anyway, that's the purplish one. And then up next is uh, the pinkish one. Woohoo! Uh, I think I put silver in there with the pink one. I feel like it. Somewhere in my mind, that's what I think I did. Um, so anyway, um, and it kind of looks like maybe it tried to peek through there in some areas. Haha, -ha, celebration. So that's the pinkish one. It's pretty. Um, and then the final. I wish I could do a drum roll, but I don't, I can't do that. So, <laughs> uh, 
Um, and so this one had black and some gold in it. And I could kind of faintly see some goldish kind of hue there that pushed through. But, you know, it was tough. It all stayed at the top. I don't know if you noticed that before I demolded it. Um, so anyway, this is also black and gold. Because I don't know, I just felt like uh, that was a theme I wanted to go with. It turned out really super pretty, especially with the glitter. Still going to decide maybe I might keep that or not. Anywho, those, those are the soap dishes. The rainbow soap dishes that I um, have on Soap Witch Crafts that are an add-on when you buy a soap. And then these are the pendant pieces that I um, <clears throat> actually still have yet to turn into full jewelry. But it's going to happen like Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> um, I like the way those turn out, though. The colors are pretty. The glitter really just makes it sparkle and shine. You know how I feel about glitter. All right, so um, that's about all. Oh, the puzzle pieces. You know, those are my favorites. So that's about all. Um, I'll give you a nice glimpse of all of it together here at the end. And I appreciate you coming by. Thank you so much. And I will see you later.